order of operations is one of the most important things that you're going to learn because this is something that you can use in multiple classes, not just math. It also can be used in sciences, anything where you're plugging a number into some kind of formula, you're going to be using order of operations. So it's important to understand uh, how this works. Now, order of operations basically just tells you the order in which you must do mathematical operations. And I have these listed here. So number one, you have to do parentheses and other grouping symbols first. So it means if you have brackets, you would work inside. So you work inside and you work on the innermost parentheses first and work your way out. So you work your way in uh, to out. But always parentheses and grouping symbols, you have to start there first with this. The next thing is if there's an exponent of some kind, you want to go ahead and evaluate the expressions that have exponents in it. Now, if you don't have an exponent, then you can just skip to the next one down here, which would be multiplication and division. Now, multiplication and division, they have the same priority, but the rule is you have to do them in order from left to right. It's the same as addition and subtraction. That's done from left to right as well. Addition and subtraction have equal priority. However, you have to do any kind of multiplication division must be done first before you do any addition and subtraction. Now, a way you can remember this is if you remember the word PEMDAS, I, uh, I bolded all the letters that you see here of each one, P-E-M-D-A-S. So PEMDAS is a word you can remember, or you can remember the silly phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and that's going to remember allow you to remember the order in which you do the order of operations. So now let's go ahead and apply this with some examples here. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to find the value of this expression. Order of operations says we have to do the inside parenthesis part first. So I'm going to do four times, four times inside the parentheses, I want to do five minus seven. Now there's more negatives than positives, so your answer here is going to be negative. It's negative two. Then we have the minus three that comes after it. Well, our operation says we have to do multiplication before we do subtraction. So four times negative two is negative eight. So we have negative eight and we're subtracting three more. That's going to give us negative 11 as our answer. Okay, so that would be the value of this expression. Let's do the next one. Now this next one, there's no operation really to do inside the parentheses. It's already done. We just have minus seven, but we're still going to work with this first. We have to do multiplication before we do subtraction. So you don't want to do negative 18 minus two and then multiply that by negative seven. You don't want to do that. We're going to multiply this. So we're going to do negative two times negative seven is positive 14. So we have negative 18 plus 14. That's going to give you negative four as the answer. Moving along here, now we see that we have one that has a uh, exponent, okay? But still, we want to start with the ones that are in the parentheses first. So I'm, I'm not going to do anything with this exponent. I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm going to do the parts inside the parentheses. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. All right, so now that we have that, we can now proceed to do the exponent. Remember that this here is negative one times eight squared. So I have negative one times 64, which would be eight times eight. And then I'm multiplying this by negative one and I have a minus negative three. This is multiplication. Multiplication has to be done first before the subtraction part. Negative one and negative one is gonna give you a positive one. So positive one times 64 gives you 64. Now, if I have a minus and a minus, that's gonna turn into a plus. So I have 64 plus three, and that is gonna give you 67 for that. This grouping symbol is a bracket. It's still a grouping symbol, which means we have to work inside the bracket first before we do anything else. So I have eight minus, okay, the, the bracket. I need to do exponents inside here first. So I'm working with the grouping symbols. I am doing that part inside. 
But as a part of that, I have to do exponents. That comes before any uh, any addition or multiplication, subtraction, division, any of that. So we're going to do this. Now remember, negative seven squared. The negative does is not part of the square. The square only applies to the seven. So I have a minus, and then I have seven squared, which is forty nine. Next, I have negative eight times negative eight. See how there's parentheses around here. So because there's parentheses, that means you're doing negative eight times negative eight, which will give you a positive 64. We want to work out the part that's inside the brackets. Okay, so we start, we're going to do this in order from left to right. Three minus 49 is going to be negative 46, and then negative 46 plus 64 we do next, and that's going to give you positive 18. So 8 minus 18 is going to give you negative 10 as the answer. One more of these. All right, so this here, we work with the part inside the parentheses. So inside there, we have negative two multiplied three times. If you multiply that three times, okay, negative two times negative two is a positive four. Positive four times negative two is gonna be negative eight. So you put negative eight inside there. Minus sign is this one. And then inside the parentheses here, I have a negative five squared. Remember that negative five squared is equal to a negative, and then you have five times five. So it's really a negative one times all that. So this is gonna give you negative 25 inside the parentheses. Multiplication here, we gotta do multiplication before we do subtraction. So this is gonna give us negative 48, but that's gonna be plus 25. Remember whenever you subtract a negative, it's the same thing as adding the opposite that we have. So negative 48 plus 25, if you work that out, it's gonna give you negative 23 and that is going to be your answer.